Hi there, it's Sarah here, founder of the Emotional Health Coach Academy, and today I want to talk to you about how you can save yourself time, money, and heartache in your emotional health coaching business. So I wanted to take a couple of minutes to just address some questions that regularly pop up in conversation with people that I speak to who are considering a new and rewarding career as an emotional health coach. Now, I appreciate that um, a change or a, uh, a pivot, a change in your career or a pivot in your business is a really big deal, right? And it's perfectly normal and natural that you would like to be as prepared as you possibly can be and have as much information as possible before you start on this new adventure. Now, some people I speak to have tried to set up a business for themselves before. They've struggled to make it work for various reasons and this has left them feeling a little bit disappointed. Maybe like, I don't know, they feel like, oh, just perhaps I'm not cut out for this. Sometimes they know that they still have a chance of making it in their business. They know they've got that opportunity to make a success, but they feel like they're just missing a little piece to the puzzle there. And maybe because of that, their partners have been put off um, and carry enough doubt that impacts them, okay? So if you've got a partner that's maybe a little bit put off by these mistakes or a little bit put off by um, what's happened in your business to date, they might have uh, a lot of doubt that's impacting you. Now, here's the thing. If you feel like you've not made a success of your business before, then I want you to know it's not your fault. It takes time and trial and error. And as we say in the Emotional Health Coach Academy, you've got to put your cape on. Okay, so CAPE stands for continued and, uh, sorry, <laughs> consistent and persistent effort. I'd forgotten there for a moment. And if you've tried running your own business before, you're probably wondering what it, what it involves and how you can make it work. So that's what today's little video is all about. How to save time and money and heartache in your emotional health coaching business. So I've split this down into two parts. And first, three things. In the first part, I want to give you three key considerations and then four mistakes that I would love for you to avoid, okay? So I speak from experience when I share this information. I am someone who has made the mistakes, plenty of them, certainly when I first started out back in 2008. And now as an experienced professional who trains and mentors and supports other coaches and therapists and practitioners, um, I, I, I have lived experience, okay? So here's some of the key things that you need to take into consideration before you embark on your new, exciting and rewarding career path as an emotional health coach. So number one, if you wanna work as an emotional health coach, you're gonna to wanna to become the very best version of yourself. It's the only way that you can coach your clients to a high standard. And that means that not only will you learn theory, but you're going to be applying everything that you discover about emotional health coaching to yourself first and foremost. Now, this part is incredibly easy, very enjoyable and massively effective. And in the academy, when you join with us, you have the option to take on a personal coach who will walk you through the process. Now, number two, the second thing that you're going to need is your own signature program. Okay, so we have a proven framework for you to follow. And what we'll do is we'll help you create um, your own signature program from that, where you will have the confidence in yourself and the confidence in your program and the clients will together have confidence in you. Now, having a framework that's proven to get phenomenal results will ensure your success as a new emotional health coach. There is no need for you to reinvent the wheel, okay? Hooray! Because we've got frameworks that are tried and tested and true. Now, the third thing is to make sure that you get some ongoing mentoring and support. Now, this is essential for when the odd tricky client shows up or you have a challenging situation that comes along and inevitably it does happen. So having a solid network of professional, experienced emotional health coaches to help you navigate those bumps in the road is absolutely priceless. So number three, surround yourself with people who you want to help you and see you succeed. Okay, so even with expert support, it is gonna be likely you're going to make some mistakes along the way. Everybody does. It's part of the process. It's all part of that learning curve. Now, 
While you can avoid some of them, you can't avoid all of them. But I'm going to share with you now four that I would like you, I would like to help you avoid if at all possible. So these things can literally make or break your career in that first 12 months. So number one, doing everything. People that do everything eventually get very little done. So if you're juggling all the balls, working, studying, coaching, being a wife, mother or husband and father, then you're going to find some of the endeavours may suffer because you are trying to do too much. When our students train with us in the Emotional Health Coach Academy, we break things down and we set a pace that's just right for you. Okay, a pace that's just right for busy people. We broke the program down into very easily digestible bite-sized chunks that ensure your success. Now, when you take one step at a time and you focus on the 20% of tasks that are going to give you the 80% of results, you will save yourself a whole heap of time and money. Okay, that's a good one. Now, number two, believing that you need everything to be perfect before you begin. Now, naturally, we want everything to be perfect before we start our businesses. Um, But in all honesty, it very, very rarely happens. Striving for perfect can slow down your process. It can slow down your progress and you're going to lose momentum. And you're going to easily be in a position where you might even actually lose confidence in yourself and in your abilities, and we don't want that. So one of the ways to overcome this is to focus on the tasks that get you your first client in through the door. Once you have an income established, it's easier then for you to spend more time on things like websites, email lists, and other business foundations. So when you enroll with us on our 12-month program, we um, provide you with access to our business programs and they show you exactly what to do step by step so that you can get a continual flow of clients coming through the door. The third thing I want to share with you then is concentrating too much on the training and certification. Okay, now as a training provider, this is is an interesting concept, all right? Now, some people will heavily invest in their training and completely ignore the business aspect of running a successful and profitable practice. Now, learning your craft and running a business are two very separate skill sets. And when you focus all of your resources on one area, training, and you ignore the other area, building a business, then you're going to find yourself in a very tricky situation, okay? It can be incredibly frustrating when you have no idea how to get those clients into your business and you've got all this wealth of knowledge and skill, raring to hit the ground running and then you're like, boom, here's my barrier. Okay, we don't want that. So when you are looking for a training provider, especially if you are starting from scratch or if you feel like a previous business that you've had hasn't given you everything that you need to be successful financially, then research your options, okay? You want to make sure you hit these three things, personal growth, professional development, business support, okay? Because you are going to need all three. And then finally, my fourth thing that I would love for you to avoid is not having enough money to start and grow your business, okay? So finally, many emotional health coaches tell me that they're very, very keen to leave their paid position and they want to do it as quickly as possible. Now, while it's completely doable for you to become a an emotional health coach and run a profitable business in the space of about six months time, can some have done it in less, it is important that you build up your client base and have a financial buffer in place before you leave your your paid position, okay? Now, when you've got a marketing system in place, like we teach in the academy, that brings you in a continual flow of clients, leaving your job safely and securely Um, becomes easier, okay? So in the Emotional Health Coach Academy, when you sign up for our 12-month training program, you're not only going to get the training, you're going to get the mentoring and the business support as well. And that will take you on a path from student to successful practice owner without wasting time through trial and error, okay? All right, that's it from me. If you want to find out more, I'm going to pop a link either below or above this video, um, which you can just click on.